In today's video, Jamal Hill gives Brazilian fans some UFC t-shirts, Johnny Walker reveals his weight during UFC 283 fight, MMA community slams Brazilian crowd for throwing drinks at Brandon Moreno, Gilbert Burns describes a recent encounter with Kobe Covington, Lauren Murphy thanks her corner for not stopping her UFC 283 fight, and footage of Jake Paul working on his jiu-jitsu. Newly crowned UFC light heavyweight champion Jamal Hill has posted a video to Instagram where he gives Brazilian fans some UFC shirts. <laughs> Very welcome, brother. Very welcome, yes. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Johnny Walker came out of the gate firing at UFC 283 and it resulted in a quick finish of Paul Craig. On Sunday, Walker, who competes at light heavyweight, revealed that he weighed 107 kilograms during the fight, which is around 236 pounds. The, the strongest tallest and heaviest light heavyweight in UFC, my friends. After the fight, I sweat probably one kilo already. I fought 107 kilo. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Are you ready? Walker also recently posted a video on Instagram showing off his incredible strength as he deadlifted a 300 kilogram hex bar, which is around 660 pounds. John Jones, you think John Jones is strong? <laughs> I'm gonna show who the fuck is strong here. Okay, John Jones, let's compete. This is warm up, sir. How much you can lift, John Jones? <laughs> 300 kilo. After Brandon Moreno's electrifying UFC 283 win over Davis and Figueredo, the entire arena erupted in deafening boos, and his in-cage interview was almost inaudible because of the noise. The crowd didn't stop there, turning up the heat. They began hurling their drinks at Mexico's new champion in an outcry of frustration, disappointment, and anger. Moreno was forced to make a quick exit from the cage under the cover of security before the situation got out of hand. Here's the footage. Here's how the MMA community reacted to the Brazilian crowd's reaction. Ariel Hawani tweeted, Rio fans showering Moreno on the way out with drinks. Horrible. He followed up with, Very sad. What a horrible way to end such a promising year. Congrats, Bengals fans. Hope you win it all. Kelvin Gastelum said, I can't help but think though, of the fans throwing things at Moreno after the fight, I do not agree or like this. Is there another example of another crowd doing this? We need to be better than this. Hashtag UFC 283. Tim Kennedy tweeted, I remember fighting on Indian reservations and you would straight up have to have your posse escort you out because there's a 90% chance you're going to get stabbed. A. Feldman MMA tweeted, Disgusting. 
Crowd has been trash all night, to be honest. How can any human being disrespect someone like Moreno? I used to love all the big cards in Brazil, but would be completely fine not having another card here for another three years again. Glover is a legend. After seeing the crowd throw food and drinks at Moreno, Glover gets on the mic to make sure the crowd does not do the same to Hill as he exits the octagon. He also stated that he would walk with Hill to the back to make sure nothing is thrown. And here are some reactions from MMA fans. CJ Dig 86 tweeted, The way the crowd treated Moreno afterward was disgusting. Colby Covington had a good point a while back, quote unquote, Brazil, you're a dump, all you filthy animals suck. Hugh Sherwood once said, Was this Brazil crowd the worst in UFC history? Habitual Prick tweeted, UFC should really take a long, hard look at doing another card in Brazil. Disrespectful and embarrassing crowd the entire night, throwing food and drinks at the fighters. Glover retired to a damn near empty arena for Christ's sake. Hashtag UFC 283. Gonzi tweeted, the Brazilian UFC crowd is weak as fuck. Stadium was almost empty at the end of UFC 283. Michael Angelo tweeted, where's Chael when you need him? After waiting months to return to action and competing at home in Brazil, Gilbert Burns felt like he needed to make a statement in his fight with Neil Magny, and that's exactly what he accomplished, as he submitted his opponent in the first round of their fight at UFC 283. Speaking to media during the post-fight press conference, Burns discussed what could be next for him and shared a few names as his next potential opponents. It was a quick fight, but I want to I want to have a busy year, you know, and I'm not I'm not asking for for easy fight. That that's the thing that people don't get it. I'm not asking for easy fight. I want to work. I want to be anyone. I'm calling for the big guys. I fight Kobe, like I said, I fight Masvidal, I fight Bilal Muhammad. I'll be a backup. I want to work. I want to become a champion. But I, I'm not begging for anything. Mm -hmm. I want to work. I want to stay busy. Just give me the, the opportunity, you know? Burns also described a recent chance encounter he had with Covington at a hotel and casino in Hollywood, Florida. To be honest, I saw Kobe. I was in the guitar. They have a Brazilian concert in, in Florida in the guitar. And I think he just left the poker room. And then I was passing by and I look at there and say, yeah, that's Kobe over there. And I look at him and I just like, I shook my head and they say, come here. And I say, oh shit, he's on. And I walked through him and I say, oh shit, my, my wife was there, I say, wait, I'm coming for it. And I was ready. I don't know what, what I was going to face. I say, what's up? And they, oh, I'm a huge fan, brother. You are super cool. I'm, 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 I'm pretty honest right now. I, I don't have to lie. He was super cool. Oh, I'm huge fan, you know, I'm a character. I just want to make money. I appreciate you. I know you have a beautiful family. And he was super cool. And it was getting even weird because he, he was over and over for over like two minutes. Bro, I like what you do, your last fight. And I was just like, man, look at this guy. But whenever I go to a fight, Former UFC strawweight champion Jessica Andrade administered a vicious beatdown to Lauren Murphy that had many fighters and MMA observers calling for referee intervention. Now, Murphy took to social media to reflect on her loss and thanked her corner for not stopping the fight. She wrote, Okay, so basically every minute I've spent in Rio, besides these 15 right here, has been fantastic. The fight was a beatdown, but not the way I imagined it. Sometimes shit goes down and you just gotta learn from it and get better. Jessica is an insanely tough opponent, and I will learn a lot from her. All these experiences, the good ones and the bad ones, make me a better athlete and human. Thankfully, I'm all good. Nose is a little busted up and my head needs rest, but I'll be fine in a few days. I'm glad my corner didn't stop the fight. To be honest, I thought the ref was going to stop it in the second round, but the bell rang before he decided to. Either way, I was grateful for the chance to keep fighting. My head and nose will heal with rest, and my heart will heal with time. My adult life has been a dream, and sometimes I have to pay for that dream. I'll be back sometime, but for now, I'm just going to lick my wounds and rest a bit. Thanks, Rio, for a wonderful stay, and to the UFC for an amazing trip, and to Jessica MMA Pro for the fight. Jake Paul has officially begun working on his jujitsu. Paul recently posted clips and photos to Instagram of his first training session, displaying his takedown defense and grappling transitions. Yeah. 
There we go. Heavy butt, heavy butt, heavy butt. Good, pummel again, pummel again. Yep, you're good. Try to get that shoulder to his throat next time you get yes. Beautiful, Jake. That, that's beautiful. 1,000%. Fuckers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you just And here are the top three funniest memes we found on the internet today. Third place was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named UFC Kink. Second place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named FDY Tellum. And our top pick was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Dovey Simu MMA. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.